we need to open the meeting. I need to, you want to do it after the roll call? After roll call. Okay. All right, let's do it after the, after the pledge, no? Carlos, before after the pledge? After the pledge, okay. Are we, are we ready? Can I open the meeting? Okay. Welcome one and all. Today is Tuesday, April 14th at 12.08. This is the city of West Miami special virtual meeting for the determination of office of vice mayor and commissioners. Madam Clerk, I'm going to yield to you for the participant instructions, please. Good afternoon. The instructions to participate in the virtual commission meeting is via a Zoom conference. And uh, the address is HT TPS column slash slash zoom dot us slash j slash three two five five two three six zero five nine. The phone numbers to access the commission meeting by phone is by dialing these numbers one six four six five five eight eight six five six one three two three one two six two six six seven nine nine. One three zero one seven one five eight five nine two one three four six two four eight seven seven nine nine one six six nine nine zero zero nine one two eight and one two five three two one five eight seven eight two. Uh, the meeting ID is three two five five two three six zero five nine, and then followed by the pound sign. Thank you, Madam Clerk. The uh, the clerk's audio is off. I think it was being heard through someone else's. Okay. Well, I don't know if that makes a difference, but could you hardly could heard you guys anything. Clearly hear what she was saying. I, I also received a text from my phone, um, and the audio is not coming through. Dedicated to the clerk. Okay. Thank you. Should I repeat again? Uh, one. Can I recommend to lower the volume. Now. Now, now, now it's clear. Before it wasn't clear at all. It was coming out through someone else's audio. So everybody should turn their audio except for the city clerk. Okay, so let's, let's everyone put their phone. Let's everyone. Your audio was not on. Please uh, give participant instructions, information once again, please. Yes, Madam Mayor. Instructions to participate in the visual commission meeting uh, via Zoom conferencing at https colon slash slash zoom dot us slash j slash three two five five two three six zero nine five nine. Instructions to access the virtual meeting by phone Numbers 1646 1646 Eight seven eight two. When you connect, the ID of the meeting is three two five five two three six zero five nine. Then follow by the pound sign. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Roll call. Mayor Wanda Rodriguez. Present. Vice Mayor Luciano Suarez is present. Here I can see Mr. Suarez. Commissioner Candida Blanca is present. She's here. Commissioner Juan Blanes. Present. And Commissioner Diaz Padron is present here in the chambers. You have a quorum, Madam Mayor. 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now it stands pursuant to the methodology that was approved in yesterday's committee. Our chief Somebody's of feeding police, police here. Our chief of police, Carlos Avila, will at this time um, scramble up the cups. Thank you, sir. And as approved yesterday, we will have our commissioners come up one at a time and choose their cup, which will determine the length of their term. And we will be doing this alphabetically with Commissioner Candida Blanca first to the table to choose her Madam Mayor, uh, just for the record, uh, we have still item three, which is public comments, and we have not received any public comments at those, as of this time. And then if we proceed, if you allow me with item four, which are the special agenda items. Yes, Madam Clerk. Yes. Item four, special agenda items. Item 4A, determination by lot of the Office of Vice Mayor and commissioners pursuant to city charter, section 303D. And this was according to a, a legal opinion by Mr. Villalobos. The terms will be vice mayor, two years as vice mayor and two years as commissioner. Uh, commissioner for, the, for four years as, as commissioner. And commissioner, two years as commissioner. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Please call the first commissioner, Madam Clerk, to the table. Yes, Madam Mayor. So according to what was determined by the commissioner at the meeting of April 13, 2020, the first person who made the selection will be Commissioner Candida Blanca. Commissioner Blanca, please proceed. Please call the next commissioner to the table, Madam Clerk. The second commissioner to proceed with the determination by lot of the Office of, of uh, Commissioner in, uh, in terms uh, will be Commissioner Diaz Padron. Commissioner Diaz Padron, please proceed. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Please call the next commissioner to the table. And now, uh, please, uh, Vice Mayor Suarez, please proceed to make your selection. Hey, I have a question. If all the four, I, I still like. Or no? 
My question down here, how many? What number did they get? Did they get the number? 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 Did they Thank you, Mr. Yes, Madam Mayor. As, as, as the result of the determination and the selection by the commission members, Commissioner, Diaz, uh, Commissioner Blanca selected four years, Commissioner Diaz Padron selected four years, and Vice Mayor Suarez selected two years. At this time, we will ask following the proper distance, Commissioner Blanca and Commissioner Diaz Padron to please approach the table where a, a coin will be flipped in order to determine the office of the vice mayor and commissioner for four years. Commissioner Blanca, please stand here. You should select now. Yes. So meaning that Commissioner Diaz Padron will be vice mayor for a period of two years and commissioner for a period of two years and commissioner blanca will be a commissioner for four years and vice mayor suarez will be a commissioner for a period of two years you may be seated Now, Madam Mayor, if you would like to proceed with the meeting, that'll be basically my report. If you would like to take a break, like we discussed yesterday at the April 13, 2020 meeting, you can either take a break and we can reconvene or continue until the uh, date and type certain of one o'clock or you may proceed with the meeting if you have any other uh, item for discussion. It is entirely up to the commission and up to you as a body. Madam Mayor, um, I, I think we have everyone on here. So can we, you think we should maybe just do it now? Because I mean, the, the problem we were talking about before was that we weren't we weren't going to be a part of the computer. So I mean, if everyone I mean, if everyone wants to, if you would like to, we, we can just do it now, and not have to come back. And I see We cannot hear. We cannot hear. That's because I was on mute. My apologies. I thank you, uh, Commissioner Flashbox Mayor Diaz Padron, for that suggestion. We uh, we did decide yesterday that we were going to take a break because we thought we all had to go back 
um, to our personal computers, but we are all are all here. So with that said, we're not going to take a break. We're going to proceed with the meeting. So the next item is the good of the order. Yes, Madam Mayor, item five, good of the order. I have a good order, order, Madam Mayor. Yes, Mr. Attorney. Yes, pursuant to uh, issues uh, in the uh, Gilberto and Teresa Uribe and Banyan uh, uh, Health uh, uh, Care Center versus uh, City of West Miami, case number 2019-00341, I am at this point requesting an executive session to be held as soon as possible as uh, uh, emergency um, issues have emerged, which I think to, should be handled uh, as soon as possible. So therefore, I'm requesting for the uh, clerk uh, to advise what is the earliest possible time that she can uh, put that in the uh, newspaper and announce that uh, the same people are going to participate. Madam Clerk? Yes, Madam Mayor. Uh, clerk, you're not on audio. Madam Clerk, I'm not um, sure if we could hear the clerk, but she's saying that we could have it uh, as early as April 28th or 29th. Was, am I correct, Madam Clerk? So April 28th or 29th, uh, Mr. Attorney, are, there, are, are either of those dates acceptable with you? It's acceptable to me, but uh, if uh, at all possible, uh, 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 Madam Clerk, uh, can we do that before? I apologize, I, I didn't hear you. What was your question, Mr. Attorney? The attorney is, um, it's okay April 28th, but I would like to uh, find out from the clerk that we couldn't do it before. Uh, so you say when to meet, I, I apologize. I can't hear you. I can hear the attorney correctly. Madam Clerk, he was asking if we could do it prior to the 28th or 29th. Prior to the 28th? It all depends on how would you like if you like to advertise having a extended window. It will, will be tied on time, but it is up to the newspaper. I have to contact the newspaper to see how are they, they are working with the COVID-19 situation right now. Okay, could you do that and uh, then advise us and send an invite, please? I think that uh, uh, Commissioner Blanca has a question. Commissioner Blanca? My question is, why do we need another executive meeting? That is, that is costing a lot of money to us. I, I have to caution everyone, this is not an agenda item. This is simply the city attorney with a request for an executive session. Mr. Attorney, is it proper to discuss to, to discuss that request of Mr. Attorney? I, I can't hear, understand what you're saying, Madam Mayor. Commissioner uh, Commissioner Blanca, please uh, repeat your question to the attorney. Why do we need another executive meeting? That is costing a lot of money. We have to we have the attorney. 
We have a dire emergency which requires for me pursuant to 286.01 rent A of the Florida statute request that we have an executive session. And I understand that this costs money. The only money that is going to cost us extra at this point is the advertising and the fact that we're going to have a court reporter. But this is a dire emergency, which I think that must be had. And I cannot discuss that in public. I, I can discuss it in private with my clients, which is the commission. Thank you, Mr. Attorney. Madam Manager, I believe I saw your hand up a moment ago. Did you have something? I'll have to unmute. Unmute. I was advised to unmute. Can't hear. He can't, he can't hear. I'll me. mute the mic. I'm advised. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, thank you. I am advised that if I unmute my mic, it may create an interference with the mayor's computer because of the proximity. Madam Mayor, what I was going to recommend. If can hear. They, you're gone again, Madam Manager. Okay. <coughs> Can I hear? I can't. Uh, you lost audio. You. No. Let me see if I can unmute you from here. Go ahead, Madam Manager. Thank you. Uh, Madam Mayor, I was only going to recommend if it's acceptable legally that we take like a 10 minute break here so that the oath of office can be prepared by the office of the city clerk. Since the commissioners are here, I'm sure that they would like to um, take their oath of office before they leave today. I, I understand it, but this matter has to be, my uh, advice is that uh, we can have it. And uh, uh, the uh, clerk is going to advise that all when we can have it. Is that correct, Madam Clerk? I don't think we're talking about the same thing. Sorry. I'm talking about the oath of office, I'm not talking, the uh, we litigation. Not finished, we have not finished the item of uh, the executive session. Uh, are we, uh, Annette? Why don't we do one at a time? OK, Madam Clerk, is the 28th of April, the soonest pursuant to the requirement. We have this executive session. Yes. Then this executive session will be on April 28th. At what time? You decide, Madam Mayor. This will be April 28th at 10 a.m. Commissioner, you know, I, I, I can't hear a thing. You guys need to shut your mics down and speak one at a time, especially in that room that you're all so close. You, you, all three mics were on, so I couldn't hear a word you said, Madam Mayor. One second, Commissioner, and I'm going to try to fix this right now. Now you can, now I can hear you fine. Okay, I believe I have everyone on mute. Would you repeat again, Madam Clerk? Yes. I asked for if April 28th, the absolute we can have it, pursuant to her advocacy. There can only be one mic on at a time. If not, we don't hear anything. I believe I have everyone on mute. Can you hear better now, sir? Go ahead, Madam Clerk. Yes, 20, uh, May 28th at 10 a.m. is fine, Mr. Attorney. Okay, thank you. If there is any, if there is any change, if there is any change, I'll May, I'm the sorry, clerk. April, April. I apologize. The executive session will be April 28th at 10 a.m. Is that uh, uh, Vice Mayor? Uh, Commissioner uh, Suarez, April 28th at 10 a.m.? Oh, I do not agree with my 
Thank you, sir. Commissioner Blanca, April 28th at 10 a.m. Executive session, April 28th at 10 a.m. Anything else on that item, Mr. Attorney? No, if there's any change, I'll let you know. Thank you, sir. And now, Madam Manager, you had a request. Uh, Madam Mayor, for your consideration. And that of the new reelected commissioners, since they are, the three of them are here, maintaining their social distance, you may want to um, take a break and reconvene at a time certain so that the clerk can administer the oath of office while they are present here in chambers. Do I have any objection to that? At all, time, at all times, we have to have a... Okay. Okay. Commissioner Blanca, do I have any objection to that? Mr. Attorney, we're taking a break. I'm not, I am not agreeing you we're taking a break. So I don't need quorum during the break. We're taking a break so the clerk can go downstairs to prepare what she needs for the for the box. So uh, it is 1245. <coughs> taking a break until so <laughs> I can't hear anything. I, I didn't hear anything. Madam um, manager, you need to turn your mic off. It's off, sir. I, mute, I got it. I muted. We are telling you that we will reconvene the meeting at 1 o'clock. Commissioner Blanas, did you hear? No. You know, it's all, I hear echo. I hear, no, I, I did not. I have everybody on mute. Hold on. Okay, now I can hear you good. Okay, we are we are going to take a break so the clerk can go downstairs to prepare the oaths of office, and we will reconvene the meeting at one p.m. Perfect. We need to do this every time because if not, it 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 sounds horrible. You know, I, I you, you get everybody's feedback. So we need to learn to after we speak. Turn. Well, we uh, Commissioner, I well, lost say something, then turn it back on. Oh, you're there. Okay, I lost you for a moment. Thank you, Commissioner. At this time, I'm going to call for a break until 1 p.m. Welcome back, everyone. Calling the meeting back to order from our break. This is our special virtual meeting. Um, at this time, we are going to continue the meeting with the oath of office that will be administered by our city clerk, Anari Gonzalez. Madam Clerk, you have the floor. Yes, Madam Mayor. And at this time, please lower your volumes. We gonna proceed administering the oath to Commissioner Luciano Suarez, who will serve the city, uh, the city for a period of two years. Commissioner Suarez, please would you join me in administering your oath? Please lower your body. I will mute you, Madam Clerk, until you're ready. I muted you. Okay, but then? As soon as you're ready, I'll unmute you. Commissioner Suarez. Thank 
Yes, you'll get a copy of the of your own. Yes. Good. Thank you. Congratulations. Do you have a quorum, Madam Mayor? Yes, Hello? yes, Mr. Attorney, I do. I okay. have Commissioner Diaz Padron's phone died. That is why he's not on camera. I have uh, present uh, uh, Commissioner Luciano 
Suarez and Commissioner Candy Blanca. I'm not sure why they're not on screen. Hold on, they are present here physically. Let me see if I can. Yeah, we, not, have we have Commissioner Blanas here. And we have Commissioner Blanas, yes. And like I said, Vice Mayor Diaz Padron's phone died, so he was he's offline. But they are all Commissioner Blanas is the only one that's not present. Blanas is present. Well, not present here. In oh. Okay, um, Madam Clerk. I'm here. I've been here. I know. I see you. I see you, sir. At this time, we are calling uh, Eric Diaz Padron. We, we will serve the city of West Miami for a period of four years, two years as vice mayor and two years as commissioner. Please raise, raise your uh, right hand and repeat after me. I, I Eric Diaz Padron, solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution, will support the Constitution and, will the and will obey the laws of the United States of America, of States of America and of the state of Florida, and the state of Florida that, I will in all respects, that I will in all respects observe the provisions, observe the provisions of, the charter, of the charter and the ordinances, and the ordinances of the city of West Miami. And, the city of West Miami. and will faithfully, will faithfully discharge, the duties discharge the duties of the office of the vice mayor of the office of the vice mayor of the city of west miami the city of west miami congratulations you <laughs> i will keep one for the record and you will keep one for the vice mayor thank you And um, Madam Mayor, uh, this time I would like your guidance because we have announced and uh, published a swearing in ceremony for April 20th at 8 o'clock in this commission chambers. So at this time, I request in your uh, guidance if if the meeting should be canceled. And anyways, my office will issue a certification of elections, which is my duty. And uh, at, at that time on April 20th, I'll issue from my office. But in regards to the meeting, you should take action. Madam Clerk, considering the, the emergency order that um, we are all under, I am going to ask that we postpone that April 20th virtual swearing in meeting, as long as I have the consensus from the rest of my commission. Um, Vice Mayor Diaz Padron says yes. Commissioner Candy Blanca, yes. yes. Commissioner Luciano Suarez. Commissioner Suarez. I'd like your consensus to postpone the your consensus to postpone the virtu, the, sh, the swearing in that was scheduled for April 20th to a later date. Our, the swearing in ceremony that was scheduled for April 20th. I'm trying to get consensus to postpone that to a later date. Thank you, sir. And Commissioner Suarez. 
it's unanimous, uh, Madam Clerk, that we will be postponing the swearing in. Until now it is. Yes. Oh, com sorry, Commissioner Blanes. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, I saw your hand. <laughs> and Commissioner Blanes as well. My apologies, sir. Um, I'm trying to look at everything at the same time. We will uh, postpone the swearing in until I'm, I'm, I can't give you a date until we're out of the um, of the emergency stay at home order, and that once we can uh, gather again. So at this time, I, I can't tell you until what date. So we're going to leave that open. Is that really no. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, Madam Clerk, for my um, oath of office. Is it possible that we do it back here? Because my co-host is out here and I need to keep um, monitoring of the screen. So for my for my oath of office, instead of doing it, oh, there's no oath of office, never mind. <laughs> no, that's fine. I don't know. Do I have to do it today? Yes. I have yes, to do Madam it. Mayor. You can have, we're gonna take a 10 minute break. Okay. 10 minute break, please. We'll be back at uh, 1.35. Calling the meeting back to order. It is 1.35. And Madam Clerk, uh, for the roll call, please. Roll call. Mayor Wanda Rodriguez. Present. Vice Mayor Eric Diaz Padron. Present. Yeah. Commissioner Candida Blanca. Yes. Commissioner Juan Blanes. Commissioner Blanes, I saw you. Where are you? Present. He's there. Thank you, sir. Commissioner Luciano Suarez. Yes, present. Present. Mayor, you have a quorum. Thank you, Madam Clerk. I believe the last thing for today is the final oath of office. Yes, Madam uh, Mayor, and uh, we're gonna administer your oath. Mayor Rhonda Rodriguez has been elected, re-elected in the city of West Miami and will serve two years as a mayor. So Mayor Rodriguez, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Yes, ma'am. I, Rhonda Rodriguez. I, Rhonda Rodriguez. Solemnly swear. Solemnly swear. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution. The Constitution. And will obey the laws. And will obey the laws. Of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. And of the state of Florida. And of the state of Florida. That I will in all respects. That I will in all respects. Observe the provisions. Observe the provisions. Of the charter. Of the charter. And the ordinances. And the ordinances. Of the city of West Miami. Of the city of West Miami. And will faithfully and will faithfully discharge the duties discharge the duties of the office of the mayor of the office of the mayor of, of the city of west miami of the city of west miami congratulations Thank madam you, mayor madam Clerk. Thank you. You know, this is all so weird. I think I'm in the twilight zone. I hear you, Commissioner. It's it's a, it's a little a little weird for us here too. We just have to adjust and adapt. Thank you, Madam Manager. Congratulations, Madam, Congratulations, Madam, Madam Mayor. Mayor. Congratulations to all. Um, at this time, Madam Clerk, I am checking. I have no one requesting to join the meeting. Did you have any calls or emails of anyone trying to get in? No, Madam Mayor. Thank you. 
um, yes, Madam Manager, please. Um, let, let, me, let me unmute you. Okay. Thank you. thank you, Madam Mayor, to the Mayor, the Vice Mayor, Commissioners. Uh, congratulations on your reelection. I look forward to working with you on moving the city forward. And um, I wish you the best of luck in this uh, new tenure in office. Uh, also, I would like to the record to reflect that I had a, um, a call from the District 6 Commissioner Vice Chairwoman Rebecca Sosa, who was on the line before a meeting that she was scheduled to attend for the county, wanting to extend to you her very best uh, she wanted to congratulate each and every one of you with your uh, re-election and today for taking your new oath of office again and wishing you the best. So that, that concludes uh, the message that I had uh, that I wanted to the, the, the record to reflect. I apologize. Thank you, Madam Manager, and thank you to Vice Chairwoman Rebecca Sosa. Thank you for your congratulations. And I'm not sure if I said congratulations to everyone. And then I, I too look forward to our next two and four years working together. I need- well, Congrats to my, my colleagues. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, sir. Uh, I need a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.